Hey everyone, it's Dave here from Band of Badgers, and this, well now this, is the Walking Dead, uh, the official AMC universe, Walking Dead universe, uh, starter box. This is from Free League, and this is available right now. Um, you can buy it direct from Free League, from their shop. Um, what is their URL for their shop? It is Free League Publishing, I was right, freeleaguepublishing.com uh, forward slash shop. This is available right now um, all over the world, uh, especially in the UK, at £33. And um, I, oh, it's, it's very shiny at the moment. I haven't unwrapped it. I haven't taken a look inside. We will talk through it for a little bit. Um, but let me get this wrapping off first because this does look pretty uh, amazing. As I said, this is available right now. Um, I think it was released yesterday or today. It's the 28th, 29th of November, 2023. And freeleaguepublishing.com is where you can get it. It is priced in the UK as £33. I'm just going to dump the plastic on the floor because that's the kind of messy guy I am. And it's a lovely box. If you've seen some of the other starter box sets, uh, Dragon Bane, Aliens, this is it. Alien RPG, I should say. Uh, this is their latest one. And this is chock full of stuff because uh, this was a Kickstarter and they did hit some stretch goals. And all of that content is available in this box. Now, Right now, also, there is a uh, various bundle deals. And if you purchase this, uh, not only do you get a physical one, you will also get the PDF copy as well of everything inside. So you'll get a PDF copy of, of everything. It's a lovely box, uh, fantastic artwork, as we've come to expect from our friends at Free League, which is what we like. So let's quickly um, have a look at the box. It says, this is the starter set for the official The Walking Dead Universe role-playing game. In this game, you will play as people struggling to survive in an unforgiving world. Exceptional challenges can appear from anywhere. From the lack of essential supplies, from conflicts brewing within the group, your own group that is, from hidden construction floors in your safe haven, or from approaching walkers hungering for your flesh. Fight the dead and fear the living. Now, um, as I said, th this hits some uh, stretch goals for the Kickstarter. So let's take a look at what's inside. I'm going to open it all up so we can see the quality of things that are in there. Uh, this box set contains everything you need to start playing. A 40-page condensed rule book. The game rules are based on the acclaimed uh, Year Zero engine, but further developed and uniquely tailored for the Walking Dead Universe role-playing game. A 16-page booklet, The Wolves Den, presenting the first full-length survival mode scenario for the game now survival mode rather than campaign or adventure interesting words we'll have to uh, take a look at that six pre-generated characters to play uh, carol gabriel glenn and michonne from the tv series as playable pre-generated characters that's an addition so that's not the same as the six um you don't get these four and then two more uh you get six seven eight nine ten because <laughs> i do maths <laughs> a double-sided area map in format uh, what's that? 55 plus centimetres, plus 42 centimetres, 43 centimetres. Depicting an area north of Atlanta, Georgia, and a region in Virginia. This is set, uh, it, this one is based on a TV series, so expect similar locations to appear. This is not um, a UK-based scenario, although I'm hoping with the fact it is Walking Dead Universe, and with the new stuff that we've seen, Daryl, for example, uh, being based in Paris. I wonder if we're going to start seeing, um, especially through this, adventures in other locations. Like what happened in the UK? What happened in uh, London, Manchester, Scotland, Wales? I would love to see. What happened in Cornwall? What happened in Cornwall? Well, I would love to see uh, what, what happens here. Um, three adventure maps in the format, blah, 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 showing locations in the Wolves Den scenario. So we, okay, so we have a full limp survival mode scenario plus a wolves den scenario. Okay, uh, 10 custom based dice and as many stress dice specifically designed for the game. Okay, uh, a threat meter to keep track of the threat from walkers in the surroundings. Now that, that looked pretty epic. And I noticed there is this as well. So not only do you, does it say here, look, two to six players ages 16 plus, 240 minutes per game, but look, there is a content warning. And it says, the Walking Dead universe deals with dark and existential themes. And this role-playing game is no different. The stories told in this game can be violent, distressing, distressing, and raise issues relating to personal morals. This is not 
a game for children. Right, and look, uh, in the background, fantastic artwork again. Now, I've taken the wrapping off. Let's have a look. Okay, so there's nothing on the inside, that is it. I will put that down to one side. I may need that in a minute. Here is your uh, threat meter. You've got to put it together. It's easy enough to do. You're going to have a pin and you just turn the dial as the threat goes up. And you start on uh, threat meter one pretty quickly. Um, oh, look. Silica. Let's get rid of that. A ton of dice. Look, we have 10 of each dice. Uh, this reminds me very much of Alien RPG, which, which rent. Uh, which went, which went down a storm of distress dice. So look, we've got some targets on those dice. We've always got some zombies and targets. Oh, don't see any, don't see any handprints on that one. But look, yeah, plenty of them. Color choice. I love the, the high contrast black and white dice. is very very cool. Uh, the red. I mean, the contrast is there, but. Maybe a better color red would have done, you know. Look, blood red maybe. This is more orangey red. But that's dice. We have the games catalog. Uh, let's see if they've got anything. Dragon Bane, which is excellent, by the way. Uh, expect more of that on our channel coming to uh, 2024. Uh, Blade Runner, Walking Dead. Here you go. Here's a, here's a sneak peek of everything that's in there. Here's all the dice. There's our counter, and all of these things are going to be in here. Uh, the One Ring, uh, absolutely beautiful. If you're a fan of Lord of the Rings, uh, this is the One Ring using the Zero Engine rule set. Very good. Lord, of, uh, there's the Five E version. Lord of the Rings. Same stories, just different rule set. In case you're interested, Coriolis, which is beautiful sci-fi. Alien. Oh, you would have seen some of the stuff that we've done uh, on this. It's absolutely stunning. In fact, uh, check out our game. We had Dave C. Mark, uh, one of the writers on Alien RPG, and part of our GM Creator series. He took us on a one-shot adventure based in Alien RPG, uh, a so far unpublished one-shot. So go and check that out. Also, while you're there, if this works, I don't know if the finger pointing works. If not, there'll be a card at the end of this video. But uh, we also did, for Walking Dead, we also did uh, an interview with Matthias, who was, uh, at the time, he was the project manager. Bazin, Vezin, absolutely brilliant. Mutant Year Zero. Bit of land, which is horrifyingly good. We need to get this. We haven't done a stream of Forbidden, uh, Forbidden Lands yet. We need to do that. We are uh, Twilight 2000, which is great. We haven't done Simba Room either. Tales from the Loop. Simba Room. There it is. Oh, it's it's so big. It is so big. Um, I need to. Uh, we need to get this on. I don't know how we're going to do it because it is. It would be bigger than our room. Right, uh, Rise of the Rune Lords, our Pathfinder story. I need to find players who are willing to commit to, uh, uh, you know, a couple of years <laughs> to playing it. Morkborg. And there's a pretty picture of all their stuff. So there you go. That is their games catalog. You get that in every package, uh, every box set. Well worth keeping. Now, let's have a look. Boom. I'm just going to tip up. There we go. Here we go. Oh, very nice. Great quality. I mean... They don't skimp on quality. This is really, really nice. So this is a, a pre-gen character, as you can see here. Nice. Cool. So we have name. Uh, you can be male, female, archetype, description, uh, their drive. Can't live without Rebecca. Issues. About to have a breakdown. Oh, dear. Um, their anchor, Blossom, or uh, Solomon, Solomon Singh. Attributes and skills. Very good. Talents, eye on the ball. So all of this is broken down in the uh, in the core rule, and I'm assuming that this will also be listed in the uh, the mini rule book that you'll get in the starter set. Tiny items, pen, pen, pendant with a picture of your mother. Uh, oh, of your mother, Mina, as a child. There we go. On the back, you got a little bit of a description of them. You are the leader of the group. Yeah, each character has secrets. Your appearance, drive, yep, very nice. So a quick breakdown. So we have one, two, three, four, five, five. What is that, six? Six, there we go. That one was 10 away. Oh, it's an NPC. Aha, uh -huh. right. 
I'm not gonna I'm not gonna spend too long on these because um, you can see what they are. They can't shoot, but lovely, lovely quality. Um, you could easily photocopy those, put those for a printer if you need extras. Here are our uh, character sheets, pre-gen characters. I'm assuming, yep, from characters from the TV series. Should you wish to play them, there is Carol. What a journey that she went on for the entire series of Walking Dead. There we go. Oh, we've got Glenn. Oh, you could change your story. You could put a different different ending on Glenn. Or maybe this is before we get to uh, Negan. <laughs> Michonne. Uh, there we go. Again, lovely artwork. Full character sheet there. Breakdown. This is quite nice, actually. I, li I like this. I like how they've done this. Uh, and Gabriel. Here's one of the maps. Again, it's kind of like I've got uh, one of that map feel to it. That kind of matte waxy feel. It's absolutely gorgeous. Um, it is going to be big. So this is at least A2 in size. But you can see all the detail here. Let's bring that up for you. It is supposed to be distressed on, pur on purpose. So don't worry about that. It is supposed to be uh, very well used. And this is a, a map the players could use in the game. There you go. Now that will unfold, and that's kind of a three-ish, and unfold again. So we have uh, there you go, Southwest Virginia. Um, I say that like that means anything. I'm not from the states, so I wouldn't know any of these locations. Even if I've watched, well, I have. I've watched all ten seasons of Walking Dead. Um, I'm waiting for the new stuff to come out in here in the UK. All I can say is, this is supposed to be based on all the areas where they've been. Uh, not that I'd probably recognise any of it. Here we go, another map. So, this is uh, going to be based on one of the scenarios. So, this gives you an idea. This is not like a battle map, like we may have seen in D&D and Pathfinder, with, uh, you know, five foot squares. This is just something you can give to your players. You could use tokens, you can use markers. Just to, and, and you could move these around on a map just to kind of signify where players are, which building they are, should they separate, where zombies are, would be uh, easy to do. But here you can see, look, a truck has obviously crashed into the front door or the wall for some reason. Um, is that your truck? Is that the enemy truck? Is that your kind of safe haven here? Is that your safe compound? Or are you attacking? Don't know. We'll find out when we have a look at the story. Now, we're not going to go in depth into the detail of those stories. It is one sided, this map, but very thick, very durable. I don't, it's going to take a while to uh, to rip that. Um, I mean, if you want to, you can. <laughs> it's not, it's still, it's still only paper. We have another one. Let's have a look at this. Okay, so another location. Interesting, yeah, okay. So imagine, imagine this is a series of shops. Where do you park? Where do you put your car? What one do you go for first? Is it shops? Is it houses? Kind of cool. Mm. Looking forward to giving this a go. Uh, that one is also one-sided. Looking forward to, definitely the, the starter boxes are very, very good value for money. Again, the amount of stuff you've got in here for, for basically 30 pounds is really, really nice. Um, here you go. So here's another location. There is a bridge, uh, a railway bridge. There is a red thing. I think that's supposed to be a tent. And tire tracks off the road. I don't, that might be a main road, that might be a dirt road. I don't see anything else, but lots of trees. Lots of environment stuff rocks and boulders so for example and again i don't know the story i'm just kind of make this up and uh, you wake up from the tent you find zombies have fallen off the bridge and start to come towards you do you run here do you run here climb up there is it that kind of story i don't know survival mode scenario this is the wolves den so uh the the handprint is there we have the an inverse of colors so this is your cut down rule book this is the Wolves' Den, a survival mode scenario. This is 
Uh, here we go. This is 16 pages and it says ending the scenario. So it's okay, so everything is marked up. Evergreen, that place is called. I'm, I'm flicking backwards. I should flick forwards, but I'm going to flick backwards. Again, we're not going to spend too much time uh, reading on this. There's that. That's what we saw on the other map, Raven Hill. So the map is something you can pass out to your players. Well, you, the GM, you have this. Um, GM, if you didn't know, stands for Game Master. But what sometimes different games call the Game Master different things in, in Alien, your mother. If you've seen the films, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, oh, and that, that, I was right. Number one, or the tent. So I was right. It was a tent. So what is the GM called in Walking Dead? A narrator? Survivor? Is there an answer? If you know the answer, put it in the comments below. I would like to know. <laughs> Answers on a postcard as always. Right. Now, okay, cut down rule book. Now I do have... I'll just grab that. I do have... This is the core rule book. I have this as well. Um, absolutely beautiful. Now, this is 40 pages. While this one, as you can see, is a lot more. This one is the page numbers. Page numbers uh, is over 160. So that one we have 160. This one we have 40. You're going to get a lot more rules. Um, now, if you'd like to see uh, the core rule book, I've already made a video of it. Go check it out. Remember, like and subscribe. Please do. But let's have a quick flick, flick through. You don't really do, well, I suppose this is an unboxing and a flick through all in one. Apologies for hitting the mic there if you heard that. Introduction, using skills, apart from the dead, player characters, characteristics, skill list, stress and anchors. What we got? Jewels, gear, brawls, fighting the dead, damage, damage and healing, running the game, other hazards. So it's got, I mean, that's a hefty chunk of rules right there. And then we're straight in. So you've got your different bits and pieces. Um, this is a guide to how to play this type of game. This is a typical role-playing game. Uh, in the book, everything is kind of looking dirty and distressed. Um, and we have some quotes from the various characters themselves. We won't get weak. That's not in us anymore. We'll make it work. Uh, you've also, I've just noticed that, You've also got um, a kind of a, a, an idea of how a game might work out. And they call him Game Master. So it's just GM, I guess, for Walking Dead. The Game Master. There we go. Game modes. We have Survival Mode and Campaign Mode. Mm -hmm. So survival mode, survival mode scenarios like the Wolves Den, which is what we've got here, are often finished in one or two sessions. So for me, I guess that's in on par with uh, a one shot. They give you a pre-run situation, often pre generated PCs and NPCs. They put you right into a dramatic and dangerous situation that needs to be handled right then and there. Also, survival mode scenarios most often contain places and people from the television franchise. Oh, okay. Campaign mode. When you play a campaign, you play several sessions that together form a longer story. The story you create is not predetermined. Your choices and the results of your effort, efforts create the storyline. For rules and guidelines of how to set up and run a campaign, see the Walking Dead Universe RPG Core Rulebook. Okay. I like it. Now, what I don't know is if this... Is this a complete copy of the page that's in the Core Rulebook? Um, I'll go back and I'll check. I'll make that comparison. I'd imagine it isn't. Although this is a, obviously this is a cut down just enough things, which is, oh look at that, zombie attack, which is probably just enough to get you through this uh, startup set. But again, for 30 pounds you get all the dice, which I'm imagining can also be sold separately. Um, yeah, really liking this so far. Bonuses from gear, because gear gives you not just weapons, but uh, having a backpack, having a sleeping bag having food and water it helps well, even if it's a plus one an extra plus one to your roll when you're using a d6 system that can really really help damage and healing 
critical injuries, other hazards. Break down the gear. Let's see, there you go. Let's have a look at the gear. Binoculars, book of maps, bottle of liquor, camera, compass, crowbar, dog. Oh, that's cool. Uh, a horse, uh, guitar, lockpicks. Yep, so there's loads of stuff there. Close combat weapons. Of course, look, there's our infamous baseball bat with uh, barbed wire around it. There's some swords. What else have we got? We've got the crossbow. We've got the big. The big uh, handgun. The Rip Grimes gun. Cuts them dead. Threat level. Fighter Swarm. So everything is here. A quick breakdown, a quick uh, set of the rules is here. I don't think that there is yet, I don't think there's yet a GM screen. I'm a big fan of GM screens, which I quite like them. Um, so there you go, this is the set. So a cut down uh, easy version of the rules. We have a scenario. So again, if you're familiar with Alien RPG and you'd like that, you'll probably like this one as well, the starter set that is. Um, so there's a, a, a scenario to play with. I'd imagine you're gonna see this at conventions all over the place. Um, here's some maps to hand out to the players. There we go. Just to kind of test the game, here's a giant map. Gabriel, Michonne, Glenn, and Carol. Here's our six or five pre-generated characters and an NPC. That goes in there as well. Here is our fret level meter and dice. And to top it off, there's a catalog. Uh, and if you really want them, there's your silica as well, all in a very nice travel friendly box. Love it. So there you go. Let us know how you get on. Let us know if this is of interest to you. Um, I'm quite keen to find out. We would, we're too close to Christmas at the moment for us to do anything. But I think in January, you might start seeing a lot more zombies. You already see loads of zombies on Band of Badgers anyway. But you might start seeing a lot more zombies on Band of Badgers. Here we go. Right. Remember, to, please do like and subscribe if you like these. Uh, every little bit helps. And, and hopefully we'll see you again soon. Ta-da.